There might be a question on your GED math test that asks you to find the distance between two points on a coordinate grid like this one here. Now, if the two points are on the same line, like B and D, all you need to do is count how many spaces separate them. So one, two, three. So the distance between B and D is three units. And the same goes for points on the x-axis lines. So the distance between C and D, one, two, is two units. Now, that's too easy, so they probably won't ask you that on the test. But they might ask you the distance between two points that aren't on the same line. For example, A and C. And the way you find the distance between these two points is not by counting how many points over and how many points up and down, because you need to find the straight line distance. And you don't just count like this, because that doesn't line up. You have to use a formula, and this formula will be on the formula sheet that they let you use during the test. And it is distance, or D, equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Now, instead of doing any subtraction, I think the easier thing to do is just to count how many spaces separate the two points on the x-axis and how many spaces separate the two points on the y-axis. So for this one, x2 minus x1, just count over until you get to the second point. One, two, three. So x2 minus x1 is three. And now do y-axis, y2 minus y1. So count up and down. One, two, three, four. So four, and don't forget to bring your squares with you. So D equals the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared. 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9. 4 squared, 4 times 4 is 16. So D equals the square root of 9 plus 16. 9 plus 16 is 25. So the distance between these two points is the square root of 25. Now, what times itself is 25? 5. So D equals 5. 5 is the square root of 25. So the distance between A and C is 5 units.